have been going through a bit of a depression and I am really in a rut, staying home, not um, going out and seeing my friends is my husband and I. We've been married for 24 years and I moved to North Dakota to sell real estate just for a year and then moved back. But I really fell in love with the area and then my husband and I kind of grew apart. So we have not talked for two years. The biggest regret is that my husband did not want kids and he told me that when we, uh, before we had our first date. So I knew that going in and then I fell in love with him. But I think that I was meant to be a mom. And I do, that's my biggest regret. Um, my name is Debbie and I came in from Williston, North Dakota. I am 55, just turned, and I feel 30. I feel 30. I was watching a YouTube video and it popped up on an ad and I just was addicted to watching the videos. Those emotional stories and the, the changes were just amazing. Um, I have fears of short hair, but I will do it if it looks good. <laughs> short, 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 yeah, I just want to know what you think. Like, bring your hair, all, bring it all forward. And, bring it forward? Yeah, let me see where it falls. There. That's, that's a better example of what your hair does. Yeah. Um, short is my mom. Short. Oh, that's oh, yeah. short. Yeah. I could do. Uh, if you were really skinny, you could do short really well. Have you ever worn short hair? I had it cut short, not on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. But you could. I mean, you'd look great. But feminine and sexy is your thing. Yeah. If you're not, you but would. I will do whatever you say. Yeah. So well, no, no, that I would. If not you do. want Sinead O'Connor, go for it. Well, that would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. I just know you wouldn't be happy. No, because I don't have a beautiful. I have an egghead. And you've got great hair. And I have an egghead. It would oh, not you, look pretty. Oh, you know, <laughs> You know what a gift it is to have a low hairline that goes up? Oh, and that's really? That's why Jennifer Anderson looks, mm -hmm. everyone loves her hair. Because people all want height up here. Their heads are flat. Oh. Be grateful for that. Yeah. you got a little spot right there. I have a flat spot there. But to have your head go from there to up. Like, I just hope I don't walk out with the care in here, God. <laughs> if you really want to know how to always look your best, there are six essential elements that you must understand to do your hair and makeup and be well dressed. They are body, head, hair, face, color, and style. Body, head, hair, face, color, and style. Body, head, hair, face, colors, and style. That's right, it's body, head, hair, face, colors, and style. Debbie is five feet, one inches tall. Vertically, she is balanced in body to leg length. Measuring 36, 31, 40 makes her an A body type. Prominent features she wants to disguise include heavy arms, a sway back, large derriere, protruding abdomen, saddlebags, and heavy calves. When analyzing her head shape, we discovered she had a rounded top, a rounded crown, and an average occipital line with rounded sides. Her head appears small in relation to her body. Her individual hairs are medium in circumference, thick in density. It's wavy with medium porosity but porous ends. It's medium elasticity. In profile she has a convex upper face and a concave lower face. An M-shaped forehead with eyebrows that are straight across. Her eyes are rounded oval, deep set in the interior with a downturned left eye. Straight on, her nose has a wide glabella, bridge, and tip. In profile, her nose is straight. Her lower lip appears to be thinner than her upper lip. She will look best with deep winter colors. Her style is dramatic, alluring, and her buzzwords are captivating, sexy, and feminine. I'm feeling a little nervous, but extremely excited. And in the end, I want to look captivating, sexy, and feminine. Did you know that Makeover Guy is the first and only company in the world that offers this type of free content? Though we love what we do, we do need you to continue. Just one video like this takes weeks to create. We rely partially on advertising, but our value to the advertisers is based on your engagement, interaction in the comments section, and how long you watch the video. The cost of the makeover does not begin to cover expenses, but these women know that and are willing to bear body and soul to help us uplift, 
inspire, and inform millions like you around the world. So please interact, engage with each other. Help us by answering questions you read. If you'd like to say thank you or buy us a cup of coffee, lunch, or whatever you'd like to give, you can do that by clicking the contributions link in the description. And please write a note to let us know your thoughts. We appreciate and, honestly, we rely on your contributions to continue. And now, let's see the big review. Because it's the camera. Yes. 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 And for the bacon. Oh, I love it. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Fun. Yeah. Wow. And then my eyebrows. That's yeah. a nice shape, isn't it? It opens up my eyes so much. We really changed your face, right? Oh, yeah. You lightened in there. Yeah. Get over yourself. <laughs> Um, more than I expected. More than I expected. <laughs> when I first signed up, I thought, well, it was just going to be a makeover, you know, hair, makeup. It was so much more than that. Um, it just gave me so much more confidence, just get to feel beautiful for a few days. Um, I learned so much. There were just so many pieces and parts to this experience that you don't get to see all of it unless you experience it. A lot of behind the scenes. <laughs> My favorite part was meeting everybody and just being around you guys, all of you. Just huge hearts. It's gonna make me tear up. <laughs> it's amazing. I wanted to feel glamorous for a little bit and it, it makes me feel that way and gave me a bunch of, or gave me confidence. I can feel that my energy has changed a little bit. And I think that's going to give me confidence in the long run and motivation to do some things I want to do. I'm done avoiding the elephant in the room. No. Go for it. Yes. Woo! <laughs>